Okay, we are back on our way to Falls Creek Falls State Park. We'll give a little review here. Welcome to Cagle Mountain Trading Post and Cagle Mountain Restaurant. I like both of them. They had a very nice mushroom Swiss burger. Oh, I could eat. I didn't need anything extra to go with it. Wednesday, the 8th of June, 2022. My clock's showing 155, but it's uh, 12.55 here, about mid-70s. We've just left Cagle Trading Post and Cagle Restaurant on Tennessee 111. They had a very good burger. 750 is a mushroom steak burger. A little trading post, they had plenty of stuff in there. Dog kind of, you know, edibles and a few gadgets and gadgets. and. Uh, but yeah, nice little place overall. Gas was high, but gas is high everywhere. And we're on our way to Falls Creek Falls State Park. We've got another 25 minutes to go. We may stay there tonight, I'm not sure. Lord, I want to pay the $25 with water and electric, but I really don't need water and electric. I may opt for just a campsite. And that's with a senior discount. I don't know if there's anything else. I looked at uh, gov.com recreation and there may be a place not too far away. Maybe about an hour away. We'll check it out up here in a little bit. I would like to spend probably close to a day in this state park, so we may just go ahead and get a site for tonight and then uh, stay tonight and tomorrow, you know, well, not tomorrow night, but then get a lot, a lot of video of this park. It's supposed to really have some really nice trails and falls. About all I get on that phone is spam. some really nice waterfalls and some uh, trails and everything. We'll check it out a little bit further. They're open till 8 o'clock, so we'll have plenty of time to make a, make a decision. And she said they had plenty of spaces. Wouldn't be no danger of them selling out. Again, we're headed north on Tennessee 111. State Park. Huh. I'm going to have to ask her about that. If they have campsites, they may be cheaper because I think this state park up here is probably the premier Tennessee park, but I'm not, I don't know. I don't know that for sure. I'm just, just me guessing. Look, there's a Dollar General. We get a site with electric. We've got our toaster, our frying pan. We've got pretty much uh, anything we need. We've got food. Even if we don't have electric, we've got food. We've got bread, bananas, pineapple, beans, spam. We have all sorts of things. Yeah, 
while I was sitting there trying to eat that burger, pig truck pulled out. Woo! I'd like to uh, I'd like to get some video up in Kentucky, not too far, but a little ways. I'd like to get some video in West Virginia and in Virginia, and then come back down through North Carolina and be back in Athens next Tuesday afternoon as my sort of general outline of what I want to do. But there's nothing filled in in between any of that. Everything could change. We did get the heater hose, or the radiator hose clamp and antifreeze in today. Temperature was running a tad high, but now it's dropped back down to normal. Filled up with gas. <laughs> so, no telling what else will come up. But air conditioning is still working good from uh, the repair last week. That's good. Maybe it's sort of warm tonight until we get deep in the night. If I need to, I will buy a temporary, I mean not a temporary, I think, uh, but you know, just a roll around air conditioner, room air conditioner, mobile, that way if you have electric, you'll, you'll be able to keep the van cool, but eventually I want to, if, you know, if I keep using the van, I want to get a top unit that heats and cools. If I see a Walmart, I want to go ahead and try to get a headphone with a jack so I can try to get a fairly good one if that's possible at Walmart. and start doing some voiceover, I'll have to figure out how to do it. But. Okay, this is the perfect chance if y'all want to come around. Looks like a Sprinter Camper Van. They don't show much inclination to come around. This is a very nice drive. I like southern southern Tennessee and East Tennessee, West North Carolina. 
I can see me up here. My cousin's building a house up here, close to this state park. I hadn't talked to him in a while. I need to give him a holler. He could be up here this week, this time, so I don't know. I might check with him tonight if we've got a connection. Another four miles, four and a half miles, we'll be turning right. We have our uh, RV batteries fully charged, and we have an inverter. We have we have a 1500 watt inverter. We've got uh, 12 volt sockets, so we've got. We've got power either way, and I've got my generator. So if we can find a national parks place free tonight, that'd be a thing to do. Save some money. Yeah, just filled up with gas. Ninety dollars, twenty gallons. Some of those Georgia four lane roads down through middle and south Georgia. This road costs an awful lot of money for the more traffic than there is on it. Yeah, what we may end up doing this trip is uh, spending more time in one particular place and less time driving and trying to get a more comprehensive video of where, whatever we're getting a video of. We may go into one of these little cities and stay there two or three hours, get the bike out and ride around and just give a more comprehensive video than just blow and go. decided to come around. It's taken them long enough to figure it out, huh? We're running almost 60. Yeah, see, something like that would be nice. I still like it. See, that's not, that's not very high off the ground. You can't get very far. You can't get very going anywhere with that thing. We can go a lot more places with this one than you can that. This is 2,500, it is up off the ground a good bit. I can find a van like this in four wheel drive with one of those raised tops on it. Okay, 15 minutes to the park. We're going to turn right in eight tenths of a mile. We will start a new video. We'll ask the girl at the park, you know, other things to do and video. Because this, I don't know a thing about this area. This is totally new to me. I've never been here. What's this up here say? Okay, Balls Creek Park, State Park. Yes, that's a lot bigger sign than that other sign back there. Mm 
And this will be from uh, Cagle's Trading Post up to whatever road this is here then, on 111. Baker Mountain Road is to the left. We cut it off here now. Start another one.